so i i played for a while back in like i i looked it up but it was like season seven i played for a couple months and then i just took a break so i'm only just starting to come back for i think it's been like three weeks now um first things first we should hold tab real quick and just see what kind of level one they have so um and higher elo shaco should be invaded almost always if you can ping it and try to invade it he's normally going to start his chickens so what you'd want to do is you'd want to invade his chickens at like 125 ish right. the Set idea behind ping. this i mean you assist ping and hope they follow um you had know assist ping yeah the other thing is the reason this invade is so powerful versus this particular champion i had a challenge with shaco explain this to me because i was having trouble versus this jungler in, in solo queue. So the reason this works is he sets his box. He, he has a box right at the top of that ramp right now if he's good. No, at the top of this ramp. Oh, yep. Right here. If he's good, he'll put one there. And what that'll do is that'll defend against an invade. So if you walk up on that ramp, there's a decent chance there'll be a box there. It may or may not. He could be bad. Now, if he's there, he's placing his boxes. You see? A good Shaco yeah. would have not let you even walk up there right away. The idea is you would walk in at like 125 and you would just start fucking with him, but it's not something you want to do a solo. But if you had a team with you and you all do it together, you could fuck that guy's clear really hard and he won't get a level up very easily because of that. But now since we couldn't fuck with him, your best to just put a ward exactly and just kind of chill yeah. out. And you really should chill versus this. This is like one of the worst matchups you could get is Yasuo plus the Shaco. This is yeah, where man. you're going to get tested because... Shaco will ever basically I i'm gonna give you a little fun fact anybody that plays yasuo every person in the game wants to gank you your e should always go back towards tower in the yeah, slain try to line it up and it yeah. just like went to the side a little bit it's a little bit rushed so every every single person who you're gonna face if you're playing yasuo they're gonna want to kill you for that just fyi so always try to move away after every farm and then <clears throat> basically just relax don't auto the minions like this randomly you want this wave on your side um you can auto it if it's going to keep this position but you never really want to move out versus this lane at least not anytime soon i was just sort of autoing because i have more minions than now, now you can yeah you can queue it and thin it out a bit yep and try to hold this position because this is a very important spot to hold because if you get ganked you don't survive it very easily like you just don't And what your responsibility is as a laner is, you know, you have like God tier scaling on Yasuo. Um, and because of that, our goal becomes if we can solo kill our lane, then we will obviously, but Annie's not exactly a lane that you just get to run over very, very often. <laughs> it's just how it is. Yeah, she has a lot of pressure. I try to go in whenever like, like right now, she can't really get a stun on me really mm -hmm. quick. So it's a sort of lengthy trade that I think I just kind of win. You do win if it's like a long trade, yes. The key here, of course, is that if you go for a long trade and you get ganked, you're just doomed. And that's the shittiest. That's that's the reason why this matchup sucks. It's it's a combination of jungle and, and mid. <laughs> I kind of want to try to push and maybe get a ward in. Because the waves are already pushing up. Yeah, that's yeah, that's gonna uh, be. It's annoying. I mean, it's not that bad to relax if she wants. To. Okay, you can push into her now because she's trying to shove into you. Why? Why would she just W that if? Uh, careful, because Shaco will regank you. Yeah, sort of figuring. Oh, it's all right. Cool. It's not bad. I just go for the shove. No need to ward. There's nothing oh, to ward for. She's okay. gonna cancel out your. She's just gonna cancel out your wave if you do that. You should just shove now. I would just reset and sell the pot and buy berserker greaves if it were me. Sell the pot? Yeah. You kept it. Oh, you kept yeah, money. Exactly. Yeah. Not really. Yeah. Hey. Cash infusion, always, my friend. I try to go for. Uh enemy raptors if they're there i try to, uh, try to so this back early. timing this back time is gonna be really strong because see how she's not really like pushing too hard what this means yeah. is you can kind of loosen up here and try to uh hard push into her and keep her interested and bait the gank so like i would intentionally if it were me i would be just shoving 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 here and try to bait the gank 
Um, mainly because I just don't think they can kill you. Uh, I would try to outplay it. So, yeah, and just start hard shoving right into her. Yeah, Shaka's probably not back yet. The idea is that if you hard push, she'll get six, and then you can kill her. Try to land damage on her, though, like with that Q. There you go. And just stay right up on her. Nice. Oh, that would be a kill. I, yeah. It's okay, though. You got her flash, though. <laughs> yeah. Keep pushing, keep pushing. Get right up on the tower. And just, right. you want to bait the gank. You have to understand. And shake goes bottom anyways. Keep queuing and flinging cues at her. Just be right up her ass. The idea is you want the gank, you want the plates. Like, this is, this is, uh, we've oh. been relaxing now. That's perfect. That's what you want. You can, if you can take that away, it's 50 gold. Just FYI. I'm kind of scared of the damage. I am too, but it's still 50 gold. And then just go uh, right up and push. Oh, this. Up. Jesus. Push, push, oh, push, push, push. Yeah, yeah, she based. Yeah. I would shove and maybe auto the tower once for a plate, I think. Uh, she TP'd. And then you just reset then. It's no problem. All right, peace. Get around the corner and press B. You don't want to stop your back. I like the idea of just chill until shield bow in this matchup and get the free scaling win. Um, if they're not really going to pressure us that hard and uh, actually do anything to us, we should be pretty happy here. I want that minion, but it's not worth nah, it. Nah, it's not worth it. It's not worth getting pushed out over. Yeah, I like that ward. It's a good ward. So just uh, be aware that she doesn't have flash, but she certainly can just ult you. Yeah. And then if Shaco shows up, um, you just kind of die or have to blow flash yourself. So there's, they just offload a ton of damage onto you. And even with your shield, it won't matter. So Shaco is bottom. So I would look for outplays. She has no ignite. Yeah, that's good. She doesn't kill you. She has no. Yeah, that's fine. And now you can just heal up if you want. Ah, it's a shame. Cool. And just relax and heal up. I guess maybe we should have brought a refillable for this lane. Mm. That's okay. Yeah, is that the letter push? It's like a soft counter matchup, so. I've always hated Annie. Yikes. Shaka's I just build up your shield. Build up your shield. Okay. You can... Yeah. You're fine. I think. Yep. I'm staying. You know she has no flash, so... Should set up cubes right now while you're chilling, though. Yeah. Try to get some more yeah. minions. Keep wiggling. Yeah, we should have brought a refill in. I missed. Shaco bot. If you hit ult here, I think you kill. Yeah, I don't think she has uh, tibbers. Maybe all in. But I, need I just shove and leave here. Right? Shove and leave if she backs off. Yeah. It's fine. Just reset it. Yeah. Well, you hard shove when you come back to lane, and then you're golden. Yeah, that shield, that interaction is so funny, by the way. Hard shove, hard shove, hard shove. Just spam auto, spam cues. Like, just get us out of here. Yeah. It's very important. Because we could probably we could probably roam to bot if we want right now. There's a lot of things we can do here. I would. I would try to walk to bot. Just take a little, a little trip. And put your uh, pink and dot brush below you here. Right yeah, yeah, right yeah. No, 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 no. In like river, river, river. River okay. is dot brush. It's a dot. I don't know. Yeah, now go I behind them. That. Yeah, it's okay. You just go behind these guys and uh, put some pressure on them. They're only level six. I mean, I would try it. I'd try it. I don't care. Mm, yeah, uh, it's yeah. yeah, it's okay. Probably dead here, though. Uh, maybe. I don't even yeah, yeah. flush that. 
Yeah, the wind wall was a little preemptive. Yeah. Hold tab. How strong are those guys? They're pretty strong. They got a lot of move speed too. Okay. He doesn't one shot you. He doesn't one shot you, so he's crazy. Build shield and then go for the... Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. I mean, we're doing a good job of keeping our, our cool in this. Yeah, I like the ward. Yeah, let's do try to, try to gank me from there before. Once you get knock up here, you win. You win if you hit it. Pretty sure. Yeah, she got the speed boost. I wanted to flash it, but kind of high mm, risk. Yeah, I don't think it's necessary. I don't think it's necessary. Your game's not that dire yet. Yeah. Mm. Same thing as before. If you hit ult, to reset your shield. I just don't want to go in with the stun. Yeah. Yeah, I would try, sure I would absolutely no no you need to push for this and try it. You need to try it now. Okay. Yeah, don't fuck around. You're about to turn level 10. Let's go. Go now. Let's go. Good. You can't wait on you can't wait when you're about to spike 10. Like you have to try. Because she that's the only window you're gonna get for a while. Otherwise, we're is just it, gonna hit the plate. Are you that afraid? Uh kinda. I don't know where Shaco is. Mm, I don't think he. I don't think. I don't think out. he kills you. I don't think he kills you though. Anyways, you don't have to. You don't have to stay up. You just shove the lane. Okay. Yep. Just cue from range and. Plus reset after. No! 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 What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Go home. That's bad. Right there. This. Uh, this might kill you. There might be a little bit of a delay. Maybe. On the stream. Go ahead and uh, reshare your screen and do a. 720 by uh 30. You must live in uh Chicago, huh? Yeah. Yep. So it's, you could just tell by the ping. That's like the lowest possible ping on NA. That Is it actually? I thought I thought you could go lower. You can if you're in like Korea with like real infrastructure for internet, but in the US this I, is Yeah, it might have been Korea. I saw somebody get like 9 mm -hmm. ping. I got like ago. I had like 6 or 7 when I was there. Uh, I kind of want to run. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, stay mid, stay mid. Okay, Shaco's yeah. top. You hard shove here. You hard shove here. So your goal right now is to shove and take oh, wolves dear. and just rush shield bow. And he's rotating, so just take crash it. You can take... Well, you if you're allowed to take their chickens, by all means. I was talking about our wolves, though. Uh, if, you, if you're allowed to take their chickens, go for it. Check it. Yeah, I'm going to try it. He's in our jungle. You should queue over the wall to see. That's what you should be doing. Okay, back to, uh, back to yeah. our wolves. Back to our wolves. Our wolves. Our wolves. He could be in there too. You gotta throw a pink in that brush, brush in uh, blue. So just walk down, and like th go to your left and throw one over the wall in this bush, and then go to go to wolves. Okay, this is cool. So you just wait cool. a second. Wait a second. Aw, you told uh, on yourself. Okay, you got him anyways. So you yeah, give him a second. Uh, you, you could, but whatever. Yeah, you could. There's no shame in taking it here. You defended it. Now go to wolves. So the the thing I was trying to get you to do is you need to let the blue just kind of pound on him if he doesn't know you're there. Uh, let the blue yeah. hit him a few times. That way, when you show up, it's a lot less likely. Because if he was fast, he would have like ulted, queued away, like a bunch of shit. And he roamed. Yeah, just hard, sh hard shove mid and just grab a shield bow. Hard shove, hard shove. Get us out of here. Because I want our shield bow so that we can actually start like carrying. Okay, peace. And then we just reset. I kill her if she tries to fight me. She won't. She shouldn't. Up. Okay, well. Try to get us out of here though. Very important. Yeah. Either you might have to not. you might have to stay one more. I'd stay one more. She has no ult. I'd shove. You might be able to help them actually. She has no ult. Yeah. yeah I, I, I can, I can. Okay, shake up her ass. Nice job. Cool. Uh you win. Like you you hard oh, win. Yeah. You hard win. Hey! All right, let's reset it. We shove one more, actually. Three dead. You shove one more. Yeah. Yep. You tax them for dying. 
And you don't have to. Before I die. No, 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 no. You don't have to. You just need to shove and tax them for dying. That's it. And then you can you can literally leave here. Just leave. Press B. You don't have to even walk. There's no need to walk. You know where everybody is. You know, two bot, three dead. So you don't have to go anywhere. You're um. You're gonna yeah. You're gonna rush the IE. Get the crit as well. Uh, the crit. Oh yeah. yeah. I didn't even realize that on the phone. Might as well. And then um, at this point. We're just gonna. I mean, we're we're able to hard win from here. It's gonna be yeah, really I tough for them to stop. No, uh, Shaka's a little bit scary, but he's kind of dumb. I'm not gonna lie. So what you're gonna wind up doing is you're gonna go IE and shield bow, and you're just god mode now. Yeah, I shove this in room, maybe. <laughs> yeah, if you're if if you're allowed to, by all means, just be realize that uh, Shaka might come for you. I shove. I wouldn't rotate blind like this. I just shove. This is just Yasuo things. Like you just. In fact, what I would do is I would just move to top after this and just start pushing. Get a so, little push going. Yep. So go ahead and push to top. Move to top. Take chickens as you move. Yep. Just move all the way to top. Nah, that's not there. That's fine. Just keep moving up there. Go right after Zeri then. Get that plant. Get us there quick. Yeah, go fuck her up. <clears throat> just bounce around on her head. She's not going to be able to do much about it. I have no idea what this champ does. I don't either. I don't either. I don't either. <laughs> She's flying over walls though, which is kind of fun. All right, now okay. just push. Push as fast as we can. All I know is Yasuo with two level lead and shield bow is not going to be losing to anybody in this lobby right now. So you just push all the way up. Push this to tower. If no one's defending, we'll go ahead and take it. Mm, Thanks so much for the sub, buddy. Right Appreciate now? it. So all you're just going to do is just turbo crash this right now. Yeah, they're all down there. I just... Yep, and just keep whacking. Yeah, now you're gonna move to golems while you wait. Yep. Okay, just wait right on the edge for this wave. Wait for it to peel off the tower. Sit right on top of tower. They can know all they want. That doesn't matter. It just doesn't matter if they know. Because it's you can dive the Zeri. Like you can straight dive her. And you will dive her if she shows up, by the way. Sir, okay. Yes, sir. You will one hundred percent dive her. I'd save tornado here for this part. Alright. Yeah, you just dive her. And yeah, then you, you auto, if you auto tower, you wouldn't even have to run away. Ah. Again, the bush and reset. Yeah. So I would have just killed and just whacked on tower. Uh, good so IE yes, and then shield bow. Yep. Not shield bow, uh, bloodthirst term dumb. Shield yeah. bow on the brain. Sweet. So go to bottom now. Same plan. See how you want to keep pathing to mid? Welcome to league. You don't do that. <laughs> I kind of want to contribute to this fight because I know there's like something's going to happen here in like a minute. But it doesn't matter. You bring people to you. You don't go to people. Now go to golems and then go to bot. You get big enough to where you just stat check everybody. That's your goal. It's like the it's like the first time the magician shows you the magic trick. This is how you can climb with Yasuo. I had a negative KD, KD when I did 100 games to diamond Yasuo and I was playing against masters and challenger players. Go to bottom. Yeah, I'm just passing like weird. Yeah, so it was a lot broken, a lot more broken when I did it, but this is literally the strat. This is all you do. You just work sides and just stat check people. And then you just take this free this free tower here. All the whack whack champs love side laning versus noobs. Then you're gonna drop over to, to Gromp after you clear this. And once you get level 16, we'll group. <clears throat> Drop not there. And yeah, check wolves. There. That's okay. Check wolves. Wolves spawning right now, I think. Yeah. And go back to bottom. And just push out all the way up again. Kind of scared they collapse on me here. You're not that I afraid, though. Shaka. Yeah, you just back up. You cleared it. You back up. You don't have to walk forward. Right. That's the point. I just back and uh, buy BF sword. You two v one. Okay, there's more than them. Okay, just back up. It's fine. I have Kane. Oh no, Jin's there. No, you got the wave crash. They're missing XP while they chase you around. So there's nothing to buy. So just to buy a BF sword, and yeah, then um, yep. 
You don't even need a pink, really. You'd sell oh, the Doran's Blade. You could sell the Doran's Blade for it because it's more valuable than a Doran's Blade right now. And then you go yeah. Sweeper or Blue Trinket. Um, I already you have Blue. That's the thing. You swap it to Sweeper because you don't have... Wait. You see what you see? You have no functionality right now. Uh, yeah, yeah. You look at your items and you say, okay, cool. Um, any Like, you could run down mid and force if your team's there. So start assist pinging mid. You got all this gold on you. So basically, if you wanted to fight right now, you're justified. So like Senna, I would just E through and just be the cockiest motherfucker in the world. I would just run right at them and just start fighting. Yep. Because you're so big, it doesn't really matter what they do. Of course, you uh, need to E a little uh, a little bit more smoothly than that. But that's okay. Yeah, so now you just back up. Cued. That's okay. You just go back and farm off of the chickens. Don't stand here. Oh god, you're trolling so hard. Whoa. Just go to chickens. Or chickens. Yep. You're still trolling. Go to chickens. Go to chickens. I... Go to chickens and get to full health. You see how you're like fucking around in mid? Because you you don't trust. After you made that trade and you took all that damage, you dip straight down to chickens, you would be at full health and you come right back in again. But you kept fucking around, right? You're making these like yeah. pointless fights. They don't mean anything at that point. All those fights don't mean shit at that point. All that matters is you get your health to full. Look at your items. Look at look at what we have. We have shield bow and we have vamp, right? So you yeah. literally attack at like the speed of sound and crit with every auto. So all you literally have to do is farm something and you just get to full HP. Plus you get your shield back. Does that make sense? Yeah. You need to not get married to any fight idea in this game. There's no point. If the fight's going shitty, get the fuck out and go hit something. Don't stand around and try to swag on people. It's just trash. And I meant what I said earlier. It's like the times the times that I've climbed to high elo with Yasuo, you just you don't have to be fancy. You just have to be smart, literally. It's the problem is the kit is so nonsense with this champion that you think about a billion plays that don't make any sense. Just keep pushing, just keep pushing. You'll think about a million plays that don't make any sense, and then you'll keep forcing because you you feel the power, right? It's like Yeah. But in reality, you use that power to get farmed. Just keep pushing. There's no need to go there. Right now, there's no there's no play that you care about at the moment. Uh, pink you can put a pink you? there. Yeah, you can put a pink there. Yeah. Now, shove this quickly. You're just trying to get your item right now. That's all you care about. So, what's our item? Like, uh, it's Bloodthirster. How much gold? Back and reset. Uh, yeah, just reset then. See? Now, you literally just start assist pinging. Uh, well, you would assist ping Baron because you're three item Yasuo. So, you would just assist ping Baron. Champion's OP. Riot wants to sell the skins. And you just assist ping this and ping your items. So, ping what items you have. Uh, so hold alt. Things. It's okay. So hold alt, and then you would just left click those items, and you would basically communicate to them that you have those items. So you push into Zeri up top now. Grab uh, Gromp as you move. Don't skip it. Just like kite it though. Yep. Perfect. And then run right at Zeri in a straight line. And just challenge. Challenge like a crazy man. And you'll never lose this in a million years. And then you assist Ping Baron like 19 fucking times. And take the wave though. You're not moving without your team. Basically what I'm trying to get you to do is start brainwashing your teammates to get them on this side of the map. But you need to keep pushing. It's a juggling game. And then you periodically do that. Now you keep pushing and you periodically ping. You're not going to start it alone. You just need another body and we get it done. Even without the cane? I guess yeah, if they well, don't have vision, I don't give a shit. So like you're you have to understand they don't have vision over there. They haven't been over there for like 10 years. They don't have any vision. You'll walk over there, you will sweep though to make sure, but the odds of them yeah. having vision are really low. So you take golems after this golems and keep pinging it. And once they decide to move, you'll go over. But you're farming as you're setting your team up to move. Yeah. Go to red, like go to red next. Go to red next. Kite the red uh, to the left. Okay, go left and then go to your uh, plant and then try to set up Baron. See? Look at this rotation. Now you just start it up. It's this Pink Kane because he's a brain damage player, right? What? <laughs> and just farm it up quick. Now, if it looks like they ward it, what are you going to do? You're just going to leave, right? It's risk-free. Yeah. It's risk-free. The only, the only way we lose it is if they... The only way they that we lose this Baron... Now turn on him. Turn on him. There you go. He's dead. Now you take Baron anyways. See? 
They, they, he didn't ward it, right? It's their fault. Yeah. We're focused on winning. Like they, they're, we're, fo we're focused on winning. They're focused on whatever the fuck noobs are focused on, right? Now we just go to top. So we we took all this gold. We we get huge. And we leverage it and we turn it into an objective. Now what you do here is you just hard shove and you're going to rush for GA next. Okay. Because they have a lot of burst damage. What okay. The? She never kills you in a million years. They, yeah. You need to, you need uh, a wind wall. Yeah. You need to turn. You need to turn though. You're good. Ooh, I thought I got them both. Yeah, it's okay. You do get them both. Good. See, GG. You were running a bit, which I didn't like. Because remember, your life steal is huge. So yeah. well, they had no. They used all their abilities on you. And see, you just stat stick them. Like there was, you didn't even have to outplay them really. It was just kind of a stat stick based on items. And now you take inhib. Yeah, and you just bail. You just E through and leave. Yikes. So you just should have E'd out faster. You were a little slow. Yeah, I misslined the E. You as soon as he <laughs> pops up, as soon as here. as soon as he pops up, you just need to E out. Now GA will make you a tougher, tougher opponent, and then uh your team should get some stuff done because you pushed a lot in. And if they don't, it's fine because we're huge. It's also a life. Mm. But since you did so much you got your team so much farm and gold by like doing the Baron. It's going to be pretty tough for them to come back anyway. So you just keep They're cruising. Walking. I would take Wolves, Gromp. I would go to their Wolves right now. So you're making a path. Wolves, Gromp, Bot, Dragon. See that? Catch it like right here. Yeah. Yep. So you just make like a little, a path, uh, like a pathway to where you're going next, which is going to be the Dragon. Are we just ending? No. Uh, they can't end. They can't end. So your job now is to just take all this and you could shove one more wave and then reset before dragon and then go straight there. So shove one more wave. Yep. And just push this all in and then just reset and go straight to dragon after. Press B. Press B. Cool. Press B. Yeah. You're still going to get to dragon on time. So now you're going to sell your pinks and you're going to buy a stopwatch. Trust me on this. Whoa. Because you never bought, a, you never used a stopwatch. It comes with GA. What the hell? I'm clicking the yeah. wrong button. Uh, just buy it. It's right there. Buy it. Right click it. I put it where you would remember it. Yeah, right there. Your God mode now. So yeah, you can so now. You yes. Stopwatch before or after GA? It's whatever. I mean, there's there's uh, argument and use cases for each each uh, option. So like, if you think you're gonna get bursted, then just stopwatch right away. And then that will yeah, cancel all their damage. The and damage. then, exactly, your god mode. Like, no one can beat you now. Like, if you yeah. pick the right times to use these abilities. That's why I tell clients, like, I can't teach mechanics. Like, either you have it or you don't, right? Yeah. Um, I can tell you that if you think a big burst is coming, just throw a stopwatch down and that'll probably work. He can't go anywhere. He's got to be, yeah. Yeah, I and just cruise. Use this yeah. yeah. Unless he had flash, which I don't think he will. Shaco shouldn't have flash. And you just cruise up there and just, and, and, you know, this would be the point where I tell clients you're in low elo and you're huge. This would be the time where I would just limit tests like crazy. And I would try to make a play because, uh, affirmative. Yeah. Just go back, go back line and try to stop, watch something like, just go crazy. Like pop off. Go stop fucking here. hesitating. Just go, just fuck around. Yeah. Just fuck around with them. And remember your autos are going to heal you. So you don't, you, you're not going to get low. And you just kind of learn those limits and boundaries this way. And see, we end, we end, we are so strong here. They even take our stopwatch away. So you have GA, you have stopwatch, right? You have shield bow. You have all these things yeah. like you could just run at them at that point. That's why we're so big there. Um, yeah, I never thought about the stopwatch on top of the GA. Yeah, if you don't use I it, if you don't use it in the, uh, in the combine. So like, say, say before you went to GA, you used the stopwatch, that play won't work. It'll just be broken even when you buy it. Do you, do you understand uh, what I'm saying? Yeah, because you can't like rebuy a stopwatch. Yeah. yeah.